gentlemen, you got your instructions earlier. Protect yourself at all times. Obey my commands. Let's touch gloves. Good luck. Sean will make his opponent go first in that department. And as he readies for battle in his adopted home city of Las Vegas, Abus Megamedov. Proud to be Russian born, but proud to represent his home of Dusseldorf, Germany, where he moved at 15 years old. Second UFC appearance, but he has 30 fights to his name, 25 right, Abus, wins, Sean, 20 of those Fight inside on. the distance. Magomedov, the underdog in white, Sean Strickland in the black. So what we're gonna see from Sean is predominantly a jab attack, right? That's what he does. And then as, the, as he finds the open and he finds the rhythm and he, you know, he feels safe, he starts to unload with the right hand, the left hook starts to swing a bit. But as we see here, Magomedov not giving him chance to do Stop. that. Stop. Ah, hate to see that early in the fight. It's never good, but 25 Stay seconds me. in. Looks like I went to the over the left eye or right eye, Strickland. Give him time. Take right eye. Oh, man, there's some redness, too. There might be a little bit of residual damage on that. Let's have a look. Ooh. Yeah. That was the ring finger. I think it was the ring finger that got in, but I think both got a scrape. I Ooh, that was yeah. Like yeah, that was decent. Oh, man, he gave him the old, the old one, two. Yeah. Not the one, two that we're after. Right? No. Oh, All right, so the ringside position's coming in. I think I just heard Strickland say I can't really see Yeah, it. yeah, I, th I think that's what he said oh, as well, yeah. which would be devastating. Let's use a cold compress like we talked about. Right, five minutes to recover for Strickland, should he need it. Stay with him. Hey. Which is a brilliant Fingers rule change, threats. by the way. Like yes, it is. Because that was only changed kind of recently. It used to be five minutes for a groin shot, but for an eye pole, you had to make a decision real quick. Can you continue? Fortunately, they made the change, as I said. Yeah, and the pressure to make that decision, of course you want to continue, but... I mean, it was completely accidental. We do have to be in control of our weapons. He will receive a stern warning, but it wasn't on purpose. The problem is the fingers are exposed because of the grappling. We all know this. Let's take another look. But, you know, yeah, the, the fingers are out there, you know? Oh, you know? that's straight out, yeah. Yep. yeah the that's a foul now. Well, it is. The fingers have got to be facing the ceiling. You know what I mean? Because he wasn't even trying to punch. Stay in the corner right here. Two minutes down, three remaining. He's saying it's blurry. Yeah, he said it's double vision. We all know Sean Strickland is as tough as they come, but he's got to be smart about this. You don't want to. You got to be smart what you say, it. too. Yeah, exactly. Well, you got to be very careful what you say. Yeah. One wrong word. You know, you might just say it in passing. You might just be not really meaning the words that come out of your mouth. But if the doctor hears another things and like, and I can't time. see, they'll call this off. But do you go back into a fight with All right. compromised vision, Michael Bisbee? Good. And, All right, stay here for me. He's good. good. I know. All right, here we go. We're on. Here we go. Hey, up uh, or fist. That's a hard one. Yep. All right. Well said by Mark Smith. Uh, Tom in. Fight. Now, Abus got off to a very aggressive start a moment ago at the start of the round. Left hook there. The front kick, what he used last time. He's the variety of attacks. And yep. there's a lot of snap and explosion behind them. Yeah, the kicking game of Abus is at the forefront of his striking. And it's going to it's gonna be up to Sean to figure out how to deal with those long, long weapons that Abus has. Oh, Abus swinging big. Strickland in that unique style, Laura, that you talk about, able to block a lot of those looping shots. His ability to see shots coming and to hand fight and to sort of, you know, use this almost like a, a, a modified Philly shell, which quite frankly in the MMA is not necessarily advisable, but he makes it work for him. 
It's one of his best assets is his defense. But, oh, but it that's also, a nice shot, though. It can get him in trouble like it did in the Pereira fight. Uh -huh. And active middleweights, he has the highest striking defense to Sean Strickland with that style. This can go ahead, sorry. No, no, you're fine, but I'm just saying Magomedov landed with that left hook a second ago. And jabs are all well and good, and they are effective, and they are the key to the door, and massively underutilized in mixed martial arts. However, hooks, they're way more powerful. That's not to say you can't knock someone out with a jab. You can. You can break the nose, you can push them up. But right now, Magomedov throwing with a lot of different attacks. Keeping Sean guessing. He's defending well, though. Powerful shot there from Magomedov. When you stand really straight up like that, like Sean does, though, it's really hard to move backward quickly. So if you can string together these longer combinations, that's when you're going to find it. Because although he deflects so well with his hand fighting in the pocket, you can only maintain that so long if you're moving backwards. Oh, that's a heavy low kick. Oh, and again. That's another thing, because Sean stands so upright, yep. it's a little harder to check. Love that one with the hand. So far. Starting to advance a little bit more. Really nice job there by Strickland. Backs up Magomedov to the fence now. Two minutes to go round one. And I think that's what he needs to do, is just really cram the offense of Magomedov, stifle him, stuff him, get in his face, and kind of crowd that kicking range if he can do it consistently. Yeah, but those body kicks, those yeah. teams, he's driving the toes into the midsection. They're going to add up. They're going to slow down the breathing and just slow down the pace of Strickland as this fight progresses. And if you remember from the Cannoneer fight, it was the leg kicks and the body shots that really gave Sean issues in that fight as well. Sean's doing a good job for the most part of blocking these big hooks. The hand placement is nice. He's using the hands to block them. But, oh, there's a head kick that gets through. Biggest strike of the fight to this point, and now he follows it up with a change in levels. 85% takedown defense take for down. Sean, but he gets taken down. Yeah. Oh, right oh. to the back, and now we'll try to squeeze. Gotta be careful. I mean, we've always talked about it, that Sean's good on the ground. I remember the first time I ever trained with him, we did stand up on him. And he did okay, you know what I mean? But that was my experience, so you know, not saying anything. Not but saying. he goes, but he goes, he goes at the end, he goes, hey, just let you know, I'm even better on the ground. <laughs> I'm like, all right, buddy, relax. Strickland passing the first ground test as he explodes to his feet pretty Fingers quickly after that. Yeah, it's gonna be hard to submit Sean Strickland. But in mixed martial arts, as I've been saying all night, we soften them up the shots first, opportunities are presented. Well, a five-round fight definitely favors Sean Strickland and his style because he can do this pace, yeah. this sort of paper-cut pace for eight rounds, ten rounds if he needed to. Yeah, and certainly on the side of Magomedov, he's using way more explosive movements. Yep. You know, the, the pace what he's putting out here throughout five rounds would be hard to keep. Strickland is a much more economical style. Look, he's just throwing out little jabs here and there, taking his time. It's favored to five rounds. Magomedov is almost sprinting the entire time. Oh, counter shot there from Magomedov. Strickland and Magomedov head to round two. Right here, Sean. Right here, Sean. Let's take a look at some of the body work here. Nice kick there for him from Magomedov, but these kicks, these front kicks to the body, the teeps, and then this one, he brought right over the right hand of Sean Strickland. Doesn't quite connect, but that could have spelled danger if he was a little bit closer. There was a bit of urgency in the corner of Strickland late in the round from Chris Curtis. I think yeah. he back. believes he saw an opening there, and we'll see if they try to exploit it. Eric Nixick out of Extreme Couture. Pleased with the work that Strickland did in the first five rounds, considering the eye poke, considering it's a five-round fight. They like the effort. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I mean, I think what he's saying is, look, listen, we lost that round, okay? But more on volume, not necessarily a ton of damage scored against you. You're still calm, you're not getting outclassed. You, yeah, you lost that round, but we got five, we got four more. So let's not panic. Oh, There's nice a good one, too. And I think that's what Curtis was talking about. They wanted to double up the jab, oh. and it led to this. Strickland starting to swarm a little bit and send yeah. a message. Oh, and Sean, a, a boost Magomedov 
The body language not great as no. he stumbled along the fence. And the one, momentum has clearly swung in this fight. You can see Sean really starting to find the mark. That one, two, did a lot of damage. Magomedov, as you say, he's completely changed the posture, the look on his face, the confidence is gone. Well, and he's breathing hard as well. And, and, and Sean, I mean, the exact same expression as the beginning of round one. Oh, that's a nice combination by Sean. And he does stay very calm in these situations. And again, countless hours of sparring that will do that. Oh. Nice combination. And Bruce Magomedov is going to be... Six punches he's stringing together there. He can't cover up like that. He can't go into a shell. And just allow Sean to tee off. Oh. There's a good one too. Cuts right through the guard. This feeling right here is what Sean Strickland lives for, knowing that the that the finish is starting to roll his direction. Well, Sean's very accurate now. Landed almost at will. There's a fire back from Abush Magomedov, but again, the body language is not great. I think Abus would be smart to start mixing in some level changes, look to clinch up. Oh, the left hook just heard it. He's going to be looking to see a third round. Magomedov not looking good. Sean Strickland growing in posture, growing in confidence, putting together combinations. And Magomedov is on shaky legs. Halfway through round number two, and Strickland has Abus Magomedov on the ropes. I think if Sean starts to vary his target a little bit, look for some uppercuts, look for some hooks. He, right now he's just throwing these straight shots. And oh. And Strickland yep. is undeterred. You wonder how much there sting Magomedov has in return because Strickland yeah, showed looking no good here. This pockets. is a beautiful combination. Strickland's on fire here now, having a great time. Magomedov rips to the body, but Sean says, no, thank you, let's go. Magomedov is looking very tired, he's looking hurt, he's looking like he wants a way out. He cannot wait for the end of this round to come. And on the flip side, Sean Strickland's having a whale of a time. Yeah, this 100 seconds is gonna feel like an eternity for Magomedov. Oh, it does, Brendan. It'll feel like a lifetime. Sean Mark Strickland. Smith. Referee Mark Smith is taking a close look as well. He looks like he has a wounded animal cornered right now to Sean Strickland. Well, you, if you look, all the snap, all the explosivity, all the power, confidence, everything, mentally, physically, it's all gone from yeah. Magomedov. He's got nothing left. Oh my goodness, a grimace and a Looking huge at the clock as well. As he backs up. Strickland said, I want to turn him into a punching bag. He has largely done that in the second round. Magomedov has been a punching bag. It almost feels like Sean is playing with his food oh, a little bit. Ah, that's it, that's Will it. Will do it. 45 seconds. Oh man, what are we waiting for? It's done, it's over. over. Continuing to hammer away. Beautiful performance. Stop, stop, stop. That's wow. it. Sean Strickland. <laughs> that's the best By knockout in round two. That's his best performance yet. Absolutely. He said he'd show him a whole new level in the octagon, and that's exactly what he did. I mean, he went out there, I mean, the first round wasn't looking good, but he took his time, you know, stayed calm, stayed composed, knew what he was capable of, and in the second round turned it on. I mean, let's take a look at this. I mean, beautiful stuff from Sean Strickland right off the bat. And he has such a simple game. It's ones and twos, but it's the pressure and the volume and the relentless attack. As soon as he finds a weakness, he begins to chip at it and chip at it and chip at it. And eventually, Abus Magomedov just had one direction to go, and that was out. Last time he finished his opponent inside the distance was his second appearance in the middleweight division back in 2020, almost three years ago. <laughs> Eric. Eric Nixon, good looking out, buddy. To make the result official with Joe Martinez. Ladies and gentlemen, the end comes officially four minutes, 20 seconds, round number two. Referee Mark Smith steps in, puts a halt to this fight for your winner by TKO, Sean Strickland!